the major reviews are this good, it could be required reading for your undergraduates. With a reduced rate for any failed thesis, <laughs> thereby eliminating any perspective. Students, whilst encouraging more editions. Oh, I wasn't going to say students, honey. I was thinking more. Right. Actually, I was thinking more in terms Michael, of something that you clever. might write. I'm sure Clay will always appreciate having been referred to as Chloe. Oh, uh, well, my mistake. Silly me. <laughs> C L A Y. Yes. What quip had you hoped to voice instead of students, darling? Oh, nothing quite that snappy, precious. Actually, I was thinking more along the lines of. Oops. <laughs> Competition. You know. Competition. Ass. As in kiss my. Maybe you should call it night. Pardon me? Don't. Maybe I should call it tonight. Michael and Allison, may I just say, finally, how very proud you have made us all. Well, thank you, Dean. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your faith and presence. It's difficult to know who to acknowledge. So I would like to thank the members of the Academy, my mommy and my daddy, without whom... Excuse me. I'm sorry. Forgive us. Should we stay? Please. Uh, well, we'll clean up later. Please go home. Are you okay, Dr. Terry? we should talk we have you did i'm serious serious oh i beg your pardon now i see all that was just a joke a hundred close friends and colleagues driven out of our home in the midst of a party celebrating our book people who i find it very difficult <laughs> look what you did no for me, please. Those close friends of yours. And yours? No, not mine. And they weren't driven away. They walked out on a scene they've witnessed many, many times before, and I can't blame them. It's boring. To the development of teenage behavior. A book that should have taken six months to write, but ended up taking three years. Damn you. Three years. That's how long the party lasted. And that's how long you've been able to avoid having a baby. Bastard. So. I'm about to lose it. I felt it coming for a long time now, but suddenly it's going so fast. I'm scared. And I'm not proud of that. And I'm not proud of what I've become. So I'm evacuating. Michael? Why? To save my life. I assume you mean without me. Where? Where I answer to myself. No bathing suit? What should I tell my parents? Tell them what I told you. I lost it. Tell them whatever it takes to get what you want. Michael.
Michael, for God's sake. You're lucky we were home when you called. Yeah. Michael. Welcome. Thank you. The old neighborhood sure has changed a bit, huh? The book is enlightened. Thanks. Very good. Oh, we're so proud of you. How's Dean Lusk? He was kind enough to extend my sabbatical. Hey, Bobby. You mustn't do anything to abuse your tenure. I'm not certain that I want to teach anymore. Come on, hell. You don't just walk away from something you've built up over a period of time. What it means in terms of security, money. I could have sold real estate. Michael? I'm serious. I didn't spend all that time for money and security, did you? Yeah, that'd be a grand joke. I still teach full-time. Full-time? I mean, you do what you have to do. We still love it. We? Well, I play for the dance class at Kildare. You also do what you can do. What else can you do?
Well, what's up? Are you enjoying yourself? I have my moments. How's your mom and dad? They're fine. Is something wrong? Everything. I just thought you might want to watch The Nation, Channel 6. And tomorrow night, The Gabby Howell Show. I'm flogging the tome, darling. But is that good? <laughs> Every interviewer asks where you are. I tell them you're on a personal search. Well, take care. I miss you. Arthur, Arthur. You write books about teenagers? Book. One. Anything in the book about a girl who thinks an older guy is hot? Chapter 14. I bet I could help you discover a whole lot of things that your book doesn't have in it. You don't think that would get in the way of your study? No problem. I got expelled. Oh. Well, you know, if you're interested, let me know. I'm available, day or night. I think you're afraid to find out what it might be like. It's one thing to write about it. Theodore is ferocious. And stoned. Hey, where are you headed, mister? I'm looking for my father, Derek Terry. Stick with me. What are you doing here? We have a bat. Michael, come along with me. You guys might want to be interviewed for a new book about teenage gang. And here's the author. Tell him about it, Michael. Hell, let's not stand around here. Smells like... Well, uh, you know what? Smells like... Uh, <laughs> talking snake, man. There ain't no fuck. Why don't we come back after and do our interview? Really? <laughs> Michael, explain what the book is about. Who gives a good Shut up and listen. Uh, hey, well, I really want to do this book so that, uh, so that everyone will really know what it's like to be a uh, part of a gang. Stop, stay here and listen to this faggot. I'm splitting. Who else is going to go? Yeah. o'clock in the morning? Do you know what you've done for book sales? Grierson drew a call and said this is worth literally a million dollars of publicity. What? 
Oh, the journal, the times, the sun. One week gone and you've turned into a rowdy. Michael, taking on a gang. <laughs> Damn it! Hey! It's in the news. They're hitting that boy. Oh, no! Oh, it's that, all that rubbish they do. Was Alison upset? <laughs> Are you kidding? She was laughing. Well, did you tell her you have to go to court? I'll get it. It was stupid, it was dumb, it was crazy, I know. What else? What's the problem? It's fabulous. I broke a kid's nose. Well, maybe he learned a valuable lesson. He won't be so quick to pull a knife next time. Allison, I can't talk to you right now. I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'd like to make this collect, please, from Michael. Yes, I'll accept. I just didn't want to argue with you in front of my parents. Well, why argue? We wrote a book about a subject in which I have no hands-on experience. It turns out I'm verifiably inept. I blew it. It's not funny, it's not cute, and it in no way affects our relationship, and I haven't had a little lapse and want to return running back with my tail between my legs. I like the imagery. Go to hell. I'm joking. I'm not. I'm not coming back to pick up the pieces because the pieces aren't there. What is it you want, Michael? <sighs> I think you know by now. Michael. Yeah? Grius and Drew want to negotiate paperback rights. Well, I'm sure you can handle it. There's serious talk of a sequel. Not interested. Don't be absurd. Don't be condescending. I'm not interested. End of conversation. How old are those girls? Oh, did they ruin your sale? Hey, man, what's your problem, huh? One is I just can't seem to make you stand still. That's right. Nobody can. Yeah? What is it you want? I need to make sure that you're not selling drugs to kids. Is that so? Yeah. Well, you see me, I'm an enterprising kind of guy. I'll say, six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's the end of my shift. Yeah. Then what? The early bird gets the worm? Right. What are you, the bird? Or the worm? Listen, I sell a lot of things to a lot of people. You can run me from this corner, maybe. But tomorrow, somebody else will be here doing exactly the same thing. And that makes it all right? Probably worse, because I don't deal to kids. Good. Glad to hear it. And who are you anyway? The blue house effect? The lawman, Heat. No. I'm an art critic. I like your work. Lionel, I'm really sorry I couldn't make it out to your dad's funeral. Well, he said it'd be him or the rye. One of them had to go. He was a great man. He was real good to me. So, I guess we got a court date on the 9th for this fracas, hmm? Oh, kitten. Give me another and, uh... Uh... Coffee. Don't get serious. Coffee, he's not feeling well. Now, from what I can tell, the school board thinks you and your father are heroes. That's no consolation. That gang's still out there. Which means you may or may not be hanging around here for a while. I was looking for a place, and then this came up. And then I thought, well, since I'm going to be waiting around for a court date, that maybe I could go hang out. Up at the ranch. Could I? Of course, you don't have to ask, just go. Oh, that's great. I love it up there. I know you do. It's the right place at the right time. I'll phone him up and let him know you're coming. Thanks, Lionel. Thank you. What
What are you doing? I've been following you since you dropped your mama. Where are you going? Look out! <laughs> that wasn't as funny as you think. Well, you're not going to be mad at me, are you? That depends on you. I'm trying to get away. Ooh, sounds good to me. I want to join you. I'll be real quiet. Why are you going through all this? Curious about you. Curiosity killed the cat. The cat has nine lives. Well, I don't. I've just got one, and it doesn't include romance with a 16-year-old girl, plus I'm married. Like I said, I'll be real quiet. What about your parents? Well, don't worry about them. They're in Switzerland. They don't care anyway. Well, I do. The answer is no. Not interest. Promise. I mean, like you've hit one kid already, maybe you'd like to try something different. I really like you. Go home. Chicken. He was killing rabbits. I had him trapped on the woodshed, but he came in through the bathroom window, looking for a steady job. Ah, little water buffalo. I'm the executive assistant to the foreman. I'm Michael Terry. You from the real estate company? No. Good, man. Glad to hear it. Call me Vic. <laughs> okay, Vic. Okay. This way. Roti. How many for dinner? You like rabbit? Sure. Four. Where's the four? I cannot eat rabbit no more. No more. Je ne veux plus. Je ne veux plus. That's CC, the cook. Chef. Whatever. CC got here Christmas. 
His restaurant in Montreal got shut down by the health department. He said he was framed, but I don't know. Food's pretty good. How long you worked here, Vic? I grew up down the road, on the strawberry fields, but not forever. Dropped down here, started working the horses. Then Fox gave me the job. Who? This is the executive foreman, Fox Devlin. He says he's not the real estate man. I know who he is. I'm Michael Terry. The wuss phoned and said he was coming. So you're a friend of Lionel? Did I say something wrong, or is she always this nice? May not have seemed like it, but she's in a real good mood. Want to ride in a little circle? Oh, I think we can go outside the fence line. <laughs> you got it, cowboy. have a race. Wine with your rabbit? Uh, no, thanks, but you go right ahead. No, it's for the guests. Compliments of Lionel. It is. Bon appétit. Merci. Uh, Fox? Yeah. You care to join me? I'm busy. What's on? Kickboxing from Manila. Videos. Who won? Bonnie Aguilar. 29 wins, one draw. Sit down. Don't eat the dude food. I grub down early. Well, pleasant dreams. Night, Fox.
Morning, Fox. Tell me about this uh, wagon hayride thing. Uh, it's just something we do around here to make ends meet. Yeah, is that Lionel's idea? No, this is our idea. We bring people up here, they ride the horses, ride the wagon, get their picture taken with the local Indian. How's it working out? Not good. Present bunny casualty rate, I don't think we're going to make it. Figures say we don't serve the second lunch on the hayride. We'll talk about it later. Get me the grease. Can I help with the hay ride? No, thanks. Cece, get your lunch yet? No, I told him I wasn't hungry. Fox, I really would like to help. I can drive a wagon. I mumble. I'm sorry. I said, no, thanks. I know you heard me. Get me the grease. Uh... I spoke to Lionel. He gave me an okay. Okay for what? Well, I have a couple of gentlemen from the East arriving tonight with their wives. They want to see the place tomorrow. Lionel said he was going to call. What time tomorrow? How about noon? I can't feed him. Well, we'll uh, grab a bite in town. I suppose they'll want to ride. Well, it is part of the ambiance. So you mean the pitch? I mean, that's our arrangement with Mr. Kennard. Noon tomorrow. Good day. How are we going to do it? I'm thinking. I could lead them halfway up the hill and tell them of the ancient eagle plucking the white man's eyes out. I could feed them hickberries, tell them it's a relaxer, have them sleeping before they could even climb into the saddle. We're in deep dip. I can't break four horses and still do a hayride, and it's too late to call it off. Oh, what if you took the folks from back east out in a hayride? The old two birds with one stone. I like it. I could drive the wagon, and you could use the horse that I ride. As a matter of fact, we can probably have the meals. Where does this we come from? You looking to sell the place, too? What? Professor, I came here when old man Kennard said he needed help. Good man. He didn't suffer fools except for his son. And unlike his father, Lionel Kennard's got no love or feel for this place or anywhere else that can't be developed and sold. Malls, condos, go-kart tracks. You one of them? No, just the opposite. I love it for what it is. I didn't even know it was for sale. Well, now you do. 
Look, you want to help? I appreciate the gesture. The idea's a good one, but now I got work to do. Vic, you make sure we got food for four extra, and if they don't want to camp out, you bring them back on in. All right, good. Yeah, and then all five of you could get lost. I don't know how you got here, but I know how you're leaving. Please, Michael, just talk to me. What have you been drinking? A little beer. What are you high on? A little of this and a little of that. Oh, you're pathetic. Don't put me down. I really like you. Did you drive here like this? Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, sure. Who do you care if somebody gets hurt or killed? Michael, why don't you like me? Stay. Don't move. I'm going to get some coffee, then we're going to have a nice long walk. I don't drink coffee. It's bad for the skin. <laughs> Why isn't there a gate here? OK, now don't get upset. Remember, you have to go to court tomorrow. And whatever you do, do not let her drive. Oh, hi, Fox. The idiot drove here drunk. She's a student where my mom works. I can't let her drive like that. I, I gotta sober her up. I gotta get some coffee. Oh. Thanks, Fox. Deirdre.
When did you leave? I flew out to surprise you. If your parents knew where you were, they just didn't know what you were doing. Oh, Allison, for God's sake. Don't touch me. I found the keys. Now, where did I put my pantyhose? Is this the hands-on approach you were talking about? She couldn't drive. You were too young to get a license. She was too drunk. You can drive. Shut up. I was going to surprise you with these. A first royalty check, paperback rights, and an advance against a sequel for 60000 But I'll be damned if you're getting that, Michael Terry. I can do it by myself. I know you can do it by yourself. <laughs> Is that five or six for breakfast? Allison, can we just talk about this for a minute, please? Allison, put the window down. Allison, put the window down and let's just talk about this like mature adults. Allison, can... Michael, I didn't mean to cause trouble. Of course you did. It's what you do best. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Deirdre. I'll solve this. Don't, don't be silly, Deirdre. Stop. Oh, hell's Maybe a go-kart track ain't a bad idea. Just joking. I'm not letting you get on that plane thinking that something happened because sir, it didn't. Sir, your pocket, sir. All right, jeez. Allison. Allison, stop. You can leave if you want to, but first, let me explain what really happened. All right? Okay. That girl here is a very mixed up, spoiled 16-year-old girl. Her parents are off in Europe somewhere, and for some reason, she's been following me. Last night, she showed up drunk. She couldn't walk, much less drive a car. So I had to sober her up. I went and got some coffee. By the time I got back with the coffee, she had passed out in my bed. All passengers, please board flight 439. Allison, this is no way to deal with each other. Are you suggesting I stay? All remaining passengers, please. Last boarding call for flight 439. Flight 439. Allison. Why did you follow me to the airport? To communicate. It's very important to me. But this is wonderful. Over $100,000 is great, but I haven't even begun to find what I went looking for in the first place. Are you going to write the new book with me? No. Why? Excuse me, if you don't board now, you miss the flight. Allison, Allison, I went to the ranch just to get away. But since I've been there, certain things have come back to me. Memories and recollections. Things that I'd like to somehow be able to share with, with someone. The things that I went through when I was young. With whom? With kids, Allison. With kids. The kids. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. What time is it? I have to be in court in 15 minutes. Michael. I I'm sorry you've missed it. The gate's closed. Michael, if you leave me here after missing my flight... Well, then come with me. You don't want to get back together. You don't want to write the book. But I'm supposed to go running off with you whenever you want. You go to hell, Michael. I'm sorry, Allison. I'm sorry. I'll phone you. I'll phone you.
your face You let nature do its thing to you 